there, comic book fans. I am going to be doing a review here. Uh, a little while ago, I picked up a book and uh, read it. It's an omnibus. And I really have to, you know, say I enjoyed it. Let me give you a little, a little bit of a background first. I have a really good friend, Joe, from Joe's Geek Show. He was stationed up here for a few years. And uh, it got to the point where every Wednesday, bef before we'd go out to the local comic shop, we'd go out for breakfast at 11 o'clock have you know have you know breakfast and talk comics we'd go to our local comic shop bosco's at noon when they opened pick up our stuff and then every once in a while if we didn't have a lot of stuff uh, we would go to our local used bookstore tidal wave where they had this really awesome collection of trades and omnibuy and all that stuff. And he mentioned that there's this series called Irredeemable. It kind of intrigued me. It was, you know, we had just recently seen uh, Brightburn. And so, you know, he we got there and he found like four or five of the trades and he says I'm, I'm gonna get these and uh, the concept intrigued me you know what would happen if a Superman type of character went bad what would <laughs> what would happen if he went bad and what would it take to stop him and you know he bought them all that they had there and I got to, you know, ruminating. Okay, check this out. And so finally, one day, I, I found something online. The whole series in an omnibus. This is it right here. So I bought it. This is, you know. A couple of pages. It's not in the best of shape, but, you know. And uh, I got it. I was reading at work. And I have to tell you. Damn. Damn. Did I mention damn? This book is freaking incredible. So. What we have here is. And, of course, they can't mention Superman. Because it's. It's not Superman. You know, they can't sit there and say it, but it is a character by the name of Plut the Plutonian, who is, by any other, you know, way of describing him, he's Superman. He's, you know, Superman in every way except name only. Um, and it starts out with him just lasering, eye lasering some dude who it seems to be this area's version of Batman. So this thing is uh, what we have here is through various flashbacks and things you have the rise, fall, and semi-redemption of a god small g type of character who is a superhero who can do virtually anything he lives off the adulation of the normal people and something sets him off he goes back Bat shit crazy and just starts wiping things out. Things, people, places. 
And what does it take to stop him? And you get, you have the whole run. During this, during this story, you find out uh, what his past was like, what caused him to become the superhero that he was, what caused him to go bad, what it took for the other heroes to stop him. And it was really hard. I mean, it, it's not one of those things where it's like, okay, let's all just band together and we can stop him. No, it wasn't like that. You know, which makes a lot of sense because if he's that powerful, bunch of, you know, powered and semi or not powered people, you know, combining together, it's not going to work, especially if he can hear what you're saying on the other side of the planet. Um, Mark Wade, who wrote this, did such good work on this. And it's you know, intricately layered with, you know, just human motivations. You know, like, look, all right, <laughs> everybody feeds on adulation from somebody. And there, are, you know, if you feel slighted, you're going to do this. <coughs> uh, there are people who have motivations, you know, like, I do not do this, I do not do this. <clears throat> what causes you to do what you say you're not going to do? Uh, it was just, it was super incredible. And I mean, as you can see, this is, I don't know how many pages this is. It's, a lot but uh, I have to say this was one of the better graphic novel uh, omnibus, omnibuses that I read because uh, considering who the central character is the Plutonian and his powers it would take a lot to try and take this thing down, even if you did have powers. So, the central character is the Plutonian. A Superman type character, he uh, in the back and forth of this, you show it shows his first appearance, he saves a what do you call it, a stadium full of people from being destroyed and that is his, you know, oh, I'm coming out moment. And people love him. And so he's doing everything that he can to save people, a la Superman. And, of course, there is going to be a little stress on this character, which I don't really think that they uh, show in the Superman comics. Because, you know, not that I read Superman much, because I find him rather boring. But, you know, so, you know, you have people sit there and say, well, you helped him. Why can't you help me? Why didn't you do this? So he's just got all this pressure coming on him and no life. You know, and once he saves somebody or stops the situation, why can't he take the extra step and fix everything after that? And how that could wear on a person. I mean, it's not enough that you kept me from getting robbed, murdered, you know, whatever. The war would be taking over. You have to fix everything afterwards, too. And it's like, no, 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 that's, no, no, that's not, you know, I, isn't it enough that I, <laughs> that you're still alive whatever and so you can sort of see why there would be a little bit of resentment built up you can sit there and say sit there and understand why this guy's going dude seriously whiskey tank of foxtrot right what the fuck you know 
and what would completely send this person over the edge. And then you also can feel the desperation of the normal people, of somebody who's this powerful, just wiping out entire countries like Singapore. He, he wipes out Singapore. It's off the map. He sinks it. Uh, and, you know, people, you know, even his friends, his co-workers are like, uh, yeah, what are we going to do? How do we stop this guy? Uh, it's just, this was so intricately plotted and told, you know, between, you know, between the back and forth, the modern day, the, you know, the history part, you know, it was, ah, this is a fantastic book and a really good, I don't want to say study, but a good study in the absolute power of what happens to somebody in absolute power and then the people who can beat that person, what happens to them if they know they can do it and what happens after you know, there is a supposed victory because you have a, a character in this book who we initially thought took him down and he is becoming more like the Plutonian because he won, which we found out he technically didn't, but how it is for a good person to become an egomaniacal dictator. Uh, this is incredible. If you haven't read this book before, if you don't know anything about it before, I suggest you pick it up. Get a trade, go on Amazon, get a used copy, get a good copy, you, know, you get the trades, get the omnibus. If you are a superhero fan, this is one of the ones you need to get to show, you know, so you can see how a super powerful character, what good they can do, and then what can push them over the edge to do horrible, awful things, then what it takes to stop them. I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5. And just say you will enjoy the hell out of this book. You know, spend an afternoon or two reading it, and uh, you won't be sorry. Anyway, let me know if you read it. What did you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? And either way, enjoy your comics.